All right, my friends. I have been ill with the flu, but today I've only got two days left till the end of this Broadway gigs uh, deal is over. But I wanted to be sure and answer some questions that I'd gotten through my emails over the last week and a half. Uh, this Broadway gigs by Febble Sounds uses some of the same great samples uh, from their Broadway. Uh, I believe it's Broadway Lights. No, that's their restricted. There's a full b- version of this one. This is a selection of trumpet, trombone, tenor sax, and baritone saxophone instruments specifically for live players. So if you play live and you're looking for um, a s- horn section that sounds very realistic, uh, this is definitely something you want to check out, especially right now. There's only two days on this uh, deal, 60% off. Normally sells for one, 65 euro. You can grab it now for 65. I'll include a link below. So what is it that we should talk about here? Um, Not the testimonials. It's a 8.5 gigabyte library of brass and winds. It's a contact player instrument. And it's got the four instruments in it. Um, There's also a, it's got legato samples and then some really powerful real time orchestrator and unison features, which I'll show a little bit of that. Again, I'm not an expert at all. I just got this library. Like three weeks ago, I played around with it a little bit. Then I was out of Vietnam. Then I came back and I've been sick but I wanted to share the sounds of this because it just sounds fantastic. Um, lots and lots of articulations you could see here for the trumpet. There's some great ones. You know what? Let's just jump right into the instrument. No need to talky-talky. Here we go. Uh, Barry sax I've got loaded up, and you can see we've got all kinds of key switches that work in combination. So I've got uh, the main... Um, C zero. That's the staccatissimo and the staccato a little longer. And then a smear in to note. I really like how you get the breath in these. Um, It uses a combination of mod wheel and uh, key velocity for its dynamics and expression. Hear how you you hear that spittle? I really love that. I mean, that's just not something you normally hear in a sampled library. It's also got a sforzando. You got a couple different vibrato modes. Uh, you know, you got a normal. And uh, not sure how to switch over. Oh, there's a grace note. And these are latch key switches. So if you're not touching them, it jumps back to the legato, which is kind of nice. Uh, the library comes with a legato set, a polyphonic set, and a multis, which we'll get into in just a little bit after you hear just the basic sample set. These multis are really powerful. I doubt I'll be able to do them justice as to what everything the library has to offer, but I just want to share it with you here. Tenor sax. Uh, 
the smear into and the smear into and the grace note articulations just add so much realism. You do need to uh, get to know the instrument as far as it's a velocity curve. Uh, there's a little bit of adjustment here as to how your controller reacts to the mod wheel, especially because you hear the change. Those transitions between samples, you'll want to get to know that. Uh, if you're saying to yourself <clears throat> that, uh, what about mic positions? Well, this instrument's specifically made to be played through a PA, this microphone position. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. I don't have any reverb or anything. It's just coming out dry as it would. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to sip my tea while I, I kind of share some of this. And we've got the trombone. one has a Gliss Portamento here with the C sharp one. So you just hold, overlap your notes. And it slowly does that Gliss for you. I think there's even some timing speeds maybe in uh, the back end somewhere, but uh, maybe not, maybe not. I love just the blastiness of this. And even though this low legato down here sounds a little odd to me. I think that I'll be doubling this for big orchestral stuff just so I get that immediacy and that upfrontness just a little bit more. Uh, space and bite for those big kind of blasts from the brass section. <clears throat> okay, trumpet. I'm not doing anything for those kind of squealies. <laughs> That's just part of the way the instrument responds, which does sound very realistic, although uh, you do want to keep that in mind. got fall down slow here. As well as your staccatissimo, which I've been playing. And your smear. And staccato. So that is just the super basic opening up the box and listening to these legato instruments. The polyphonics uh, allow you to play uh, multiple notes over the instrument. And as I mentioned before, I have been playing this straight out of <clears throat> the... Excuse me straight out of the 
um, contact with no verb. I'm going to pull up a little bit of verb here. Just a, uh, let's see, a chamber or a hall. Here we go. Now let's see. That's way too much. Yeah, way too much. I guess the point of this was that uh, I wanted to hear what these uh, what these would sound like with just a little bit of reverb on, and I need to I need a better setting, obviously. Okay, let's try this one. Now, the one thing that would take a little getting used to, and I think keyboard players would be able to get it, is that you've, because you've got velocity sensitivity and your mod wheel sensitivity, you're able to do some interesting things. Like if I start off super quiet, you can increase your dynamics as you might uh, normally with the mod wheel. But if I start out with the mod wheel all the way up, but still play super quiet. I can achieve something uh, that you probably wouldn't be able to get in many other ways. So the polyphonics, two notes, three notes, four notes. But this instrument this set of instruments, the multis, are think I think is where it really gets exciting because you've got um, legato instruments for a multi set for uh, this one's saxophone. So you can see we've got a whole bunch of tenor and very saxes load up. So if you were playing live on stage, you can imagine how easy it would be to play a nice line. And again, um, there's a salsa line, which I believe this is another mixture of um, trumpets, yep, trombones, very sax, everything here. And you could switch those key switches just like all the other instruments you've been using all along. Those little slides and things add a lot of um, realism. Those portamentos and grace notes and slip blur into the notes. see that being used live and then he, this is where things get really interesting these are real-time orchestrator uh instruments and once i load these up i'm going to go ahead and load up the quartet i think it's one of the more interesting ones because you're using all the instruments at the top you see we've got the real-time orchestrator in the multi Now, I'm not an expert, but I believe you've got the ability to change your sample set pool, so your instruments that are loaded up across the bottom here, and you could tell your real-time orchestrator what those are, so you can build your own and expand them. I'm not sure how far it goes, but right now we've got four. Then we've got uh, different ways to orchestrate. This uh, orchestrates 
a single octave with key switch C7, which it's not highlighted up here. Um, and then you could switch to double octave. And then you've got your articulations for this set. So right now we got staccato, sforzando, and fall down. And it looks like we've got a polyphonic. And I think these are multi legatos, or I'm sorry, in the legatos, there's those are multi legatos. So this one. A whole bunch of uh, programming that you can do in the back end here as far as you can do auto uh, staccatissimo which is set right now so right now you'll see if I play a long note I get a long uh, I get a, a sustain but if I play short it automatically is playing a staccatissimo so this makes it really makes it really handy What do we have here? We have a trumpet, a trombone, a tenor sax, and a berry sax. <clears throat> There's also one for five trumpets. And I think this is kind of interesting to know because they've designed this instrument in a way that once you're using a uh, real-time orchestrator, you also have a selection of humanize and detune and here you see this is real-time orchestrator slot one and this next one you'll see is probably going to be slot two and it's detuning and humanizing one and two about the same amount but because the real-time orchestrator knows that this is position two it's going to make sure they don't use the same sample so you don't get any odd uh, so it sounds like a section. So Excuse me. So by using nearest neighbors, retuning, and whatnot, you're able to get a full uh, section out of um, the same sample set. I hope that makes sense. It made sense to me in my flu-riddled mind. We've got, uh, this is four tenor sax, one berry sax. <laughs> For this one, I want to check and look at our sets here. It says we're doing staccato simo, um, auto staccato simo. So you hear that? I'm playing short. I'm not triggering it via key switch. I think that uh, I think I've showed about everything that I know about the instrument off. Um, 
there's got to be some official videos and uh, official demos back on that page. Be sure and check those out to learn all the details. I'm no expert. I'm just a guy trying to make sure you know what it sounds like. Uh, so thanks for checking out the video. I always love it when you guys comment and uh, in the description below. So, uh, you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate the likes so much and uh, sharing is caring. So if you have a friend who might be interested in this library wall, it's on the special discount price here. You know, make sure and uh, send them the link uh, in the description below. That'll take you straight over to the deals page.